Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created some chip bags as favors for my friend's upcoming drive-by baby shower. I'll have everything I used in the description box below. If you like the video and you learn something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how I got the measurements for this project and basically I just folded my eight and a half by 11 paper in half then I folded in thirds then I measured it all right guys let's make our chip bags so to begin our design we're going to use eight and a half by 11 paper but we're going to turn it horizontal so we're going to go up here to create a design and enter our custom dimensions we're going to do it in inches so our width is going to be 11 and our height is 8.5. I hit create new design. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead to uploads and I'm going to insert this digital wallpaper that I purchased off Etsy and I will leave the link to the shop in the description box below. I think I want to use this one. Okay, so now, Either I can go ahead and st stretch this out to fit to the screen, or I can make sure that the image is highlighted, right click, and hit set as background image. So now that I have that, let's go over here to elements and see what kind of clip art we can use. I'm going to go ahead and type in Safari in the search bar. And let's see what comes up. And I am using the Canva Pro version. So if you're following along and you don't have the Canva Pro, some of these um, options may not be available to you. And I like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Let me see what else they have. This is cute. Okay, I, I think this one will work. Oh, look at this one. Hmm. Let's try this one and see how we like it. Okay, so we know that, no, let's not do that one because I don't think it'll be, I don't know, let's try it. Okay, so we know that our largest working space is five inches. So I'm just going to stretch that out until my width is five. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and center it. I could move it around like this until all lines pop up. So I have um, the lines like this means my design is centered. Or I can just make sure the image is highlighted, go over here to position and hit middle. And it's centered right here. But I, I'm not gonna use this image because this is a little, well, let's try it. So let's go over here to text and I'm going to search text and I'm going to type in baby. Okay. I like this one. I think it kind of goes with the theme. And let's just mm, I'm not going to use this one just because it's just a little too small. So let's go with this one. And go ahead and make it five inches wide. See, this one takes more up more of the paper. It doesn't have so much blank space. So I like that one. And so I'm just going to insert this. Let me go ahead and hit position. I want it in the middle and I want it center. I guess I don't want to center. Well, that means this design isn't centered. Let me see. There we go. 
maybe just a little bit smaller so it's not covering the giraffe so much. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to change this text right here. And instead of baby Taylor, it's going to be baby Jackson Smith. And I think I want that text just a little bit bigger. Let's see, 24. Maybe 21 or 18 be cool. Okay, we make sure that is centered and in the middle. And I like that. Okay, so that's the main part of our chip bag. So let's go ahead to back to elements and let's add a barcode like they do, like they have on chip bags. So I'm just going to search barcode. And I guess it really doesn't matter what barcode I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. I'm just going to move it to the bottom corner over here. And we're just going to change the width to 2 inches. Maybe not so much on the corner. Okay, that looks good. So let's do something with this side. Let's go to text. Um, let's see, let's type in menu. See if we can create our own nutrition guide or nutrition facts. Let's see, I think this is probably be as close as we can get. So let's go ahead and edit our text first before we change all the dimensions. You can type in nutrition facts. Oops. This is stressing me out. I'm just going to delete that all together. But I don't want this blank space right here. So let's go back to our clip art. We'll Safari. Go back to our Safari. And see what other images we can use to put on this side, just so it's not so blank. If you're fine, you know, whatever design, you go ahead. But I'm just going to edit this a little bit more. Okay, so this is just what I ended up doing. Just added a couple um, clip art pictures and some text. And I think that's it. I like this design, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, save it as a PNG to my computer. Then I'll just go ahead and print. I'm using an Eagle Tank 2750, it's letter. I'm actually using um, photo paper, so I'm going to do P 
premium photo paper glossy and that's just what the packaging says so that's why I'm going with that and I need to go ahead over don't want portrait I want landscape and I need my borders printing on Okay, and everything was good, so I'll just go ahead and print. Okay, so now that we have everything printed out and it looks really good, we're just going to go ahead and place these chips on the inside of the paper and wrap the paper around the chips. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to the edge to close it now you can i'm using hot glue but you can also use double sided tape but i just haven't really found the tape that's sticky enough to keep it together and you see the elephant one thing i should have done when um, designing is not put the elephant so close to the corner i should have left a little bit of room because there's going to be a little bit of overlapping but it's fine so um, take that into consideration when you guys are designing your chip bags. Don't put things so close to the corner because when you glue it like this, it'll kind of get cut off a little bit. And all chip bags are not created equal. <laughs> you want to get the chips that have the least amount of air in there as possible just to make um, this part easier. So I just go down the back first and press it together. Then I'll glue the bottom and then I'll glue the top. Okay, now once I have everything all good together and our chip bag is looking really, really good. And honestly, at this point, you can stop if you want to. But I'm just going to be a little bit fancier and take our paper crimper and just crimp, crimp the bottoms just to make it look more like a chip bag. Okay, so I got this off Amazon and you just open it up from the bottom and then you need to smooth out the chip bag as much as you can because we need to insert um, the paper in between the blades right there. So we'll insert um, the paper in between the blades, close, close it back up, and then just turn the knob once, and then reverse it so we can get the paper out. And just look how that just really takes the whole thing up a notch. This paper crimper thing is so cool. So there you have it, guys. That is our chip bag. Um, I have 99 more of these to make. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.